The Archibald Prize is no stranger to controversy. In recent years, it has attracted a lot of negative press in relation to gender bias, with critics calling for more equal representation of women. With all this negative press, has the Archibald Prize lost its appeal? I hit the streets of Melbourne to find out what the public really think of our oldest art prize. What's your name? Ari. How old are you? Six. Have you heard of the Archibald Prize? No. I think it's very political. So that would be a no. Ten. Do you think there's be an equal number of girls and boys that have won? Yep. Yep. Since the inception of the Archibald Prize in 1921, only 12% of the winners have been female. The judges have sought to address this gender bias and has resulted in three out of the last four winners being female. Whilst this is a positive step forward, it seems the Australian public still perceive the prize to be biased towards men. Eventually this will correct itself. However, the Archibald Prize still has a long way to go. I'd like to see not only more females as subjects of portraits, but also the inclusion of more ethnic groups and Indigenous Art. Emil, who do you think should win the Archibald Prize? Money. Money?